Hi, I'm Will, one of the reps here at the iForge. So we're the new makerspace at the University of Sheffield, located on the first floor of the Diamond. And today I'm just gonna give you, give you a brief introduction to the space and a kind of insight into some health and safety rules that we have here. So we're open from 12 till 8 p.m. every day of the week, Monday through Friday, uh, not the weekends. Um, and to get into the space, uh, there's a doorbell, which is by the main door into the project space. On the right-hand side, if you just ring that, then a rep should be with you shortly. It might be busy, so do be patient if no one comes to you immediately. Uh, also, due to health and safety reasons, we do have a maximum capacity. So at busier times, uh, you may have to wait a while to get in. So what are we all about here at the iForge? So we're a, a makerspace run by students for any students to come and use. So a makerspace is a collaborative environment where anyone can come and learn the skills they need to then use the tools and materials to bring any idea they have to life. So this idea might be part of a final year project, it might be part of a PhD project, part of a gift for a family member, or even you just want to put a motor on the back of a mountain board and go drive around the peaks. But obviously with some of these ideas, there can be some risks, which isn't a bad thing. We just need to know about them. So whenever you want to do a project or work on something, just come and speak to one of us reps in our black aprons and let us know what it is you'll be doing and we can work with you to make sure that you're going to be safe whilst in the space. So using materials here at the iForge. So we want to strive to make sure that you have access to free or at least subsidised materials when you're using this space. We have a standard stock of materials such as plywood or acrylic that you can use, but we do ask that whenever you use any materials, you take them to the front desk so that you can then check them out on our till system. If you're unsure about anything, just speak to one of our reps. If a material is going out of stock or it's running low, if you just let one of us know so that we can order more in, that'll be fantastic. So if you want to bring your own materials in, that's absolutely fine. Just come and speak to one of us, one of us reps, and we'll be able to work with you. We might just need some material safety data sheets or other literature to make sure that the material is traceable. So here at the iForge, our capabilities in terms of equipment are constantly evolving, but we have a core list of capabilities here. Those are laser cutting, 3D printing, hand tools, bench top tools, and an electronics area. We do have a complete list of tools and kit that you can use, which can be found on our website, which will be uploaded soon. But if you do have any questions or any specific tools that you're after, do speak to one of our reps, as there's an online list that you can fill out to make your request. So we have a number of rules here in the iForge that we ask that you follow when using this space. So when you come into the iForge, we ask that you act safely, responsibly and considerately just to make sure that it stays a great place that everyone can use in a safe environment. We also ask that you work with us as reps and follow any instructions that we might give you. It's your responsibility to make sure that whenever you're using a bit of equipment, you've checked that you have the correct training to do so. If you are using it without direct supervision from one of the reps, Make sure that you refer to the operating manual, which can be located in a booklet by the sign-in desk with any queries that you might have. If you do have any questions and you feel, or if you feel unsafe, just stop what you're doing and come and ask one of the reps. If you want to use any hand tools, make sure that you have read through the relevant risk assessment before you start any operations. If you break anything, that's really not a problem. These things happen. All that we ask is that you come and speak to one of the reps and tell us which bit of kit's broken, just so that we can get it fixed for the next users to come and use. Also, we do ask that obviously, as we're a collaborative space, you know, we like to help our users to work on their projects. We just ask politely that maybe you could help us in return and make sure that when you leave a workstation, it's in the state that you found. And if you make any mess, that you just take a bit of time just to clean up, just so that we can keep the space really nice and clean for the next users. So obviously here at the iForge, we're all for trying to encourage enterprising activity. And if you want to prototype any business ideas you might have, that's fantastic. And we do really want to hear about that. However, you aren't allowed to sell any products that you make in the space. That's just one rule that we request that you follow. So on the floor in the iForge, we have a red and white hash line 
This signifies that you're entering the machinery area. Once you cross this line, we request that you uh, don't drink any drink or eat any food, and you're also always wearing a red apron or, and goggles as well. So we ask that when you use the space, you consider the clothing that you're wearing. This means that when you come in, we ask that you wear closed toe shoes that are stout. This means that no sandals or flip-flops can be worn. We also ask that your legs are fully covered, so no shorts or skirts. We might be able to help you out though with some of our boiler suits that you can wear when you enter the space. Any jewellery that you have that is loose, we ask that you remove. So things like necklaces or rings, just make sure you take them off before coming into the space. Any sleeves that you have are securely rolled up so they're not gonna flop down into the machine. It's also really important that you tie any hair back uh, for girls or boys and make sure that it's secure behind your head. Make sure that when you come into the space that you're in a good physical state to use machinery. This means that if you're still feeling any effects of alcohol or you might be a bit hungover, that you don't come into the space and you wait till the effects have passed. If you also have any specific conditions that you feel we should be aware of, please feel free to just take us to one side and have a chat with us. So obviously we're really keen to show off some of the amazing work that you users do here at the space. So we did really ask you to take some photos of the work you've done, whether here or completed at home, and just tag us on some of our social media channels. If you're not sure about what these channels are, just chat to one of our reps and they'll point you in the right direction. And finally, have fun here at The Space. You know, we're here for you and we like to think that we can really nurture a strong community whilst you're using The Space.